All right, what we're looking at is, this is the type of hose that's used in RVs. It doesn't have any metal reinforcement. It has strings in it. This end is crimped, as you can see. See how it's crimped around it? And they tell you there's basically no way to fix it. And that's not true. This is what's called a field service connector. The problem is this connector is made for the wire. There's field serviceable connectors. This one, if you look at it, is shorter than this one. And it's also fatter in diameter. This is what you'll get if you go try to get one from a, a dealer. He'll say, well, this is all I've got. This is, should work. It doesn't. When you get up to about 1,500 PSI, it blows out. The one that's actually made for it, made also by Parker Hannifin, is this. It's longer, if you look at the length, and it's narrower in this diameter, from here to here. This is wider. This one doesn't blow up. This connector costs you about 30 bucks, but it works. That's the beauty of it. It actually works. Now, how do you put it on? Well, you cut this. I use a tubing cutter to cut it. It's the same style of tubing cutter that you can get for all the other regular plastic tubing or hoses because this does not have any steel in it. So you use one of those and you cut it. You simply thread this on and screw it all the way down till that end impacts down in there. So it, bottom it up. Keep turning it and turning it. Use a wrench. Actually, you can use an adjustable wrench. It's that primitive and that easy. Once you get it screwed tight, once it's all the way down, and you'll see it pan out down there. Then you simply put this one in, put some oil on it, lube it up with hydraulic oil, and then you screw this in. And you're gonna have an adjustable wrench here and a regular, or open end wrench here and an open end wrench here. And as you screw this in, you notice I didn't get this all the way down. When you screw this in, it'll hit that tube and then Simply screw it until it bottoms out, okay? This is going easy because I don't have this screwed in all the way. And when it bottoms out, see that gap right there? It'll actually bottom out and you lock it tight. And then this one, you're gonna do the same thing on the other end of the hose. So you're gonna have two hoses that you're gonna to put together. They don't make a male and female of these, they only make a female. And that's the female. So you get a connector like this. I don't remember the number on this one, but I'll give you the number of this one. You screw that in like that. The identical connector is gonna screw on this side and connect to the other hose. And these three pieces are gonna save you, it'll have saved me over $900 in the one connection. Because these together cost, this one's 30, 30, and this one's three or four dollars. So it's $65 versus $1,000 to repair it. And that's all you have to do. This part number for this one is, I look at my notes. Two o six five one dash four dash four. Again, that's Parker Hannifin part number two o six. 651-4-4. There's one of those there, one of those there with a little coupling, male to male coupling in between. And that's it. That's how you fix a thousand dollar hydraulic line plus, <laughs> I don't know. What can I say? So there is a a field service bolt connector that mates to this Parker Hannifin hose that allows you to do this in the field. So have fun with your RV and if you get in a pinch, there might be another way to fix it that works just as good and saves you a lot of money. Take care and have fun in your RV. This is what it looks like. This is a contact number for calling Parker Hannifin. If you look at the part number, it's 20651-4-4. And underneath it, it says obsolete. But there's thousands of these connectors still out there. I've called several dealers and they have them available. If you're 
search it on the internet, you'll also find that Parker Hanovan has a new connector for it as well. So my advice to you, if you've got a hydraulic hose, you might want to just buy one of these for a spare, because most of the RV repairmen, or two of them as spare, I should say, most RV repairmen do not know they're out there. They have to rip the hose out, put a new hose in. That's how they were taught to fix it. But this is a fix designed by Parker Hannafin that works and works well. Take care, and once again, have fun with your RV.